There's really no debate on this issue. I think I would probably choose Grace. I will take care of all French fries. I don't know what this says about me. What are theaters? What are movies? I am not loving it. I don't know why you have a cat. Hi, my name's June Diane Raphael, and I am about to play Highly Debatable with Good Housekeeping. But before I do, I want to make sure you rent The High Note, available on May 29th. The best holiday, no question about it. This is not debatable, this is a fact, is Christmas. My preference is a lake house because I'm scared of the ocean. I've been taken down by the ocean and ocean waves one too many times and I'm, I'm always just waiting for a tsunami. I mean, even right here as I'm answering this question, I'm looking out the window expecting it. So I, I, I feel with my anxiety level much safer in a lake house. Gosh, I definitely prefer an aisle seat. Um, I, I have a, a minor case of claustrophobia and as much as I love resting my head on a window to sleep, um, if it's time to go, I wanna be able to move. Um, hmm. you know, I think ultimately probably would choose Grace. As much as I love Frankie and enjoy her, I know, know thyself. Um, and I'm ultimately probably more of a Grace and I, God damn it, just for, for her wardrobe alone. Um, and for the way Jane, I mean, they both look stunning. But for the way Jane Fonda is aging, um, and Benjamin buttoning before our very eyes, I think I would probably choose Grace. I definitely prefer sparkling over still. Uh, it feels like a treat, and I can still get hydrated the same way, I think. I actually have no idea if the science is there. Ooh, this is a tough one. So, the best french fries shape, I mean, I will, I will take care of all french fries. I, I don't discriminate. I am very inclusive in all shapes and, and body positivity of fries. However, push came to shove, push came to shove, I would definitely choose a steak fry. The problem with steak fries is that it's sometimes they're not cooked perfectly depending on where you go and you end up with like a cold middle and you're not gonna have that problem with like a, a McDonald's fry, but ultimately I I like a I like a bigger fry. I definitely prefer pancakes over waffles. Um I like a bigger pancake. I don't like the silver dollar pancakes. And, you know, in general, I'm not really a sweet morning person. So I would probably prefer, you know, um, an omelet or a frittata or something a little bit more, you know, chilaquiles in the morning over something sweet. I, I save my sweet tooth for the evening hours. But if push came to shove, I would definitely choose pancakes. Asking the hard questions today. Um, I prefer smooth over country. It's just uh, there's some things from childhood that you can't even even if you you know empirically something is better. It's just smooth is much more comforting to me and it is evocative of uh, a pretty happy childhood. Um, I definitely prefer to cut my sandwiches uh, diagonally. Um, I grew up having them cut, you know, horizontally, but um, I'm now having kids and I, I think I looked at other sandwiches and saw other friends with, with diagonal cuts and it seemed nicer, it seemed like there was more thought put into it. Um, so I, I, I appreciate the design of a diagonal cut. I definitely prefer watching movies in the theater, uh, but there are certain movies that I don't mind watching at home. Um, I, I, I mean, what are theaters? What are movies? But I love, uh, I love going to a movie in the middle of the day by myself. So that's a, a real treat and getting popcorn, M and M's, the whole thing. Um, and I, I think it's just fun. And I love seeing comedies in the theater. I think they're so much better. Um, 
But there are certain movies like that that don't necessarily need to be seen on a big screen. I actually think I just saw the high note. It's so beautifully shot, and there's so many huge numbers. And it, it, I wish it was seen in a theater, but but also people have large TVs now. Ugh, I don't know what this says about me. I prefer to be a solo act. Um, I think girl groups are fun, but I listen. I, I'm I just turned forty this year. I'm, I'm coming into my own. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to. Um, to be a part of a girl group anymore. That was, if you had asked me this 10 years ago, I might have said that, but um, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I think I'm ready to stand in my own light. I actually like homeschooling. I like teaching. I don't mind it at all. I think it's fun. Um, it's hard, but it's, and I have a huge respect for teachers who, who do it professionally, but I, I'm, my son's also in kindergarten, so I'm not, you know, I, I think I understand most of what he's learning, but it's just enjoyable and it's it's fun a fun time for me. I don't let I don't love cooking mainly because I don't love cleaning. So, um, you know, I was saying this to Paul the other day. We feel like it, our our reward for getting through the day with no childcare and trying to work and and do things like this is to then clean the kitchen for two hours. So many women do this all the time, but it's, for me, um, I am not loving it. The Jane Club, which is a, a co-working space I founded in LA, specifically designed for mothers, um, has moved our community completely online and we're actually growing nationally right now, which has been incredible. So we've had so many women join our Connected Jane program, which is the online village of support and amenities designed really for mothers and caretakers. And um, we have so much incredible programming for kids. Paul, my, Paul Shear, my husband, is hosting our, our first magic show this Friday afternoon at 4.30 where all the kids get to <laughs> perform some magic. And so many of our genes just sign on to support the kids and cheer for them. It's really been quite wonderful and, and very special. So my roots are definitely coming in and I'm just sort of living that life. I'm, I'm hoping for like a Debbie Harry type situation. Um, I, so I've had to let that go. There's simply nothing I can do about it. I am not, I respect colorists way too much. There is no way I am gonna try to do this on my own. So I feel like I'm better off just letting it grow. The nails, have, so Paul started off, my husband started off giving me manicures. That was a disaster. That was a, a unmitigated disaster. Uh, it was shocking what he was doing. He was just sort of painting so roughly. I was like, there's lines. And since this amazing company called Olive and June, which is a, a nail company, they have these at-home manicure kits. And they saw my Instagram post and sent me one. I'm now actually enjoying doing it on my own. I mean, this is not bad. This is not bad. Oh, gosh, great question. If I could bring back a housewife, would it be Vicky or Bethany? Listen, Beth, so, so I think I'm gonna choose Vicky because I don't think Bethany is necessary on New York now. We have Leah, we're doing just fine. So. I'm like putting all of my eggs in her basket. I was so intrigued by her and her hoops and her her accent that, I mean, nobody's talked about like the, her speech. It's so fascinating to me. It's like this, she's got this like little bit of a like, like New York thing go, I mean, I can't even, but she's from Connecticut. All of it is just so fascinating to me that I don't think we need Bethany. We definitely need Vicky on OC. No, we just do and I would honestly I, I would send her a camera package right now and just ask her to film during quarantine because I I would watch that I'd pay good money to see that not a hard question dogs to cat lovers out there and you know who you are you know you just um, I don't know why you have a cat you know I don't know what that says about you but if you, I mean, there's really no debate on this issue. My, there are great things about cats and you should love cats for what they are. 
but you can't compare them to dogs and you shouldn't. So for dog lovers like myself, it's just, it's not even a question. Like we are comfortable in our truth. And I wish that cat lovers would just accept like they have something and that's great. It's just not, they're just not dogs, nor could they ever be. So um, I think it's a, that it's for me, cat lovers, it's just a question of like accepting your boundaries. I cannot believe I got through those hard hitting questions. I'm, I'm in a full body sweat. I know that's really controversial and I'm sure Twitter and the, the message boards are lighting a fire right now with some of my answers, but I it was a total pleasure to be here. And please do check out the High Note, which is available to rent on May 29th and subscribe to Good Housekeeping. <laughs>